Hello, race fans. Welcome to South Boston Speedway in South Boston, Virginia. I'm Aaron Johnson of the Johnson Eye Racing Team, welcoming you to today's feature event. It is 40 fast laps at South Boston Speedway in the Eye Racing Advanced Legends Cup. This, the top split, the best of the best, the top drivers on the Eye Racing service at the time this race was offered. Let's have a look at today's starting lineup. Starting in the 12th spot in car number 10, that's Aaron Donnelly out of the Virginia's region. Aaron did not make the starting grid before the bell, so he'll have to start from the infield. Starting in the 11th spot in car number 11, it's the Columbia DoorDash Legends car of Timothy Wilmus. Timothy racing out of Pennsylvania. In the 10th starting spot in car number 12, it's William Boxell. Boxell racing with us out of Indiana. That is the Boxell Data Systems Legends car. Starting in the ninth spot in car number three, running out of Conway, South Carolina in the Monster Energy car, that's Brantley Wise. Crypto McCart will start in the eighth spot. Crypto in car number nine, the DeLace Photography car racing out of the Midwest region. He's going to show up on your screen as car number 88, but in your telemetry as car number nine. Starting in the seventh spot in car number five, that is the iRacing Nederland car of Timothy Finnemore, Finnemore racing out of Canada. Starting in the sixth spot in car number two, He's going to show up on your screen as car 09, but on your telemetry as car 2. That's the RKM Setup Shop Legends car of Caleb Mishu, Caleb out of the Carolinas. Now let's have a look at the top five on the starting grid. Starting in the fifth spot in car number 363, he's going to show up on your telemetry as car 1, but on your screen is 363. That's Lee Walker of the Johnson Eye Racing Team in the Grumpy Old Men Brewing Company car, Lee out of Dorset in the United Kingdom. Starting fourth in car number seven, that's Jim Dalton, Dalton and Dalton's racing. He races out of Waterford, Pennsylvania. Starting in the third spot in car number six, that is Devin Schillingberg in the Legion Racing Team Legends car. Devin out of Virginia, starting second in car number eight, that's Thomas Dean, the Rocket Racing Setups car. Dean is going to show up on your screen as car number three. He's out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and on the pole in car number four, that is Kevin Boylan, Kevin in the Pro Tree Services Legends car from Nazareth, Pennsylvania. This is a great field. These drivers account for 433 iRacing asphalt oval wins between them. So a fantastic field at South Boston. Lights are off on the pace car. We should be getting the green flag this time by. The four of Boylan going to lead them to the field. Boy, the pace car's in. Boylan hammers the throttle. He's going to jump out to a quick early lead. It's going to be Kevin Boylan out front. It looks like Schillingsburg going to hop into second with Dean in third, and Lee Walker is going to try to jump into that fourth spot out front. It is all four. That is the four of Kevin Boylan. He is out front, followed by the six of Schillingberg. Then it looked to me like Lee Walker's got a wheel underneath, and he does. Walker's going to go past Thomas Dean. It's going to be Boylan, Schillingberg, Walker. Those at, oh my goodness, the four of Boylan gets into the infield wall and just gets demolished. Kevin Boylan really takes it on the chin. That's going to give the lead to the six of Devin Schillingberg. Lee Walker in 363 running in the second spot. Just behind them, it's the five of Tim Timothy Fenimore. Then Cretol McCart running fourth and Thomas Dean running in the top five. The four really just got whacked there. Kevin Boylan off in the pits now. Kevin Boylan out of this race, out front. It's the six of Devin Schillingberg. Lee Walker in the car, 363. He shows up on your telemetry as number one, but on the screen in that gorgeous, grumpy old man brewing car. Walker closing in on the six of Schillingberg. It's Schillingberg, Walker, Fenimore, McHart, and Dean, the top five behind them. Caleb Mishu runs in the sixth spot. Timothy Wilma, seventh. Jim Dalton, eighth. William Boxell is ninth. And Kevin Boylan is in the tenth spot. Boylan also involved in that accident. There are nine cars left on the lead lap. It's the six of Schillingberg leading the way. Lee Walker closing in. On the six, Walker about six car lengths, maybe five car lengths back as they come past the start finish line. We begin lap number seven of a scheduled 40. Devin Schillingberg with the lead, Walker second, Fenimore third. Lee Walker looks like he's showing a little patience here, taking care of his race car. And when the time's right, I believe Lee Walker will begin to put some pressure on the six of Devin Schillingberg. They are closing in on lap traffic here. Schillingberg. Closes in on 
Looks like it is the Monster Energy car of Brantley Wise. Wise currently shown in the 10th spot, three laps down. And it is, it is definitely Brantley Wise. So that's the six of Schillingberg closing in on the Monster Energy car of Wise. You can see Lee Walker now has closed in as well. We're on lap nine of 40, Walker about a car length back as Wise gives Schillingberg and Walker some room. Walker now looks to the high side. Lee Walker about a car length and a half behind the six of Devin Schillingberg. It's Schillingberg, Walker, Fenimore. Those are the top three as we can see some more lap traffic beginning to come into the picture. I think that might be the 12, the Boxell Data Systems car of William Boxell. Devin Schillingberg out front. Closing in on the lapped car, that is the Boxell Data Systems car. So William Boxell currently being shown in the ninth spot. And Devin Schillingberg closing in on Boxell. It's Schillingberg 1, Walker 2, Lee Walker. A nice smooth race, easy line around this racetrack. Walker about a car length back as Schillingberg closes in on the lapped car of William Boxell. Boxell with a little damage to the left front there. He may well have been involved in that early incident that took out the four of Kevin Boylan. Boylan currently on the racetrack five laps down as we watch Schillingberg go past Boxell. Lee Walker comes right along with him. It is Schillingberg, Walker, Fenimore. Fenimore we can just see in the white five. He is just now trying to make his way around Boxell out front. It is still Schillingberg. We're on lap 14 of 40. Schillingberg leads a strong field here led by the 137 wins of Brantley Wise. Wise struggling a little bit today. He's four laps down in 10th. Wise involved in that early collision. Out front, it is Schillingberg and Walker leading the way. We are 15 laps into a 40 lap event and Lee Walker is content right now just to ride behind the six of Devin Schillingberg. Let's have a look at how they run on the grid behind Schillingberg. That's Walker in the 363, the grumpy old men brewing legends car. Behind Walker, we see the five of Timothy Fenimore. Fenimore racing out of Canada with us. He's, uh, he's in the iRacing Nederland car. Behind Fenimore, we can see the 88 of Crito McCart just going around the lapped car of, uh, of uh, William Boxell. So McCart currently being shown in the four spot. Next car on the speedway is the 12 of Boxell. Boxell one lap down, a lot of damage to that car after an early incident. Behind Boxell, that's the 09 of Caleb Mishu. Mishu currently being shown in the fifth spot. Then behind Mishu on the speedway, that's car number three of Thomas Dean. Dean shows up as eight on your telemetry, but he is car number three. Dean currently being shown in the sixth spot. Behind Dean, we see Caleb Mishu in the Monster Energy car. That's Mishu currently... Um, not Mishu, I apologize for that. Brantley Wise in the three car. Wise currently being shown in 10th, four laps down. Next car on the speedway behind Wise will be the four of Kevin Boylan. Boylan involved in that early incident, five laps down in the 11th spot. Behind Boylan, the next car on the racetrack is the 11 of Timothy Wilmus. Wilmus currently being shown in seventh. Then behind Wilmus, we're back around to the leader just in time to see Lee Walker get a wheel underneath the six of Devin Schillingberg. Walker trying to make the pass here. A little wiggle as he comes out of turn number four, but Walker's got position as they go into one and two. Now through the center of one and two onto the back straightaway. Lee Walker's going to try to make this pass. I tell you, Devin Schillingberg pushing that car hard on the outside, trying to make the outside line work. Walker gets a little bigger advantage as they come out of turn two onto the back straightaway. And Lee Walker, sorry, a four onto the front straightaway. Lee Walker going to make the pass. It's going to be Lee Walker now with the lead, followed by... Schillingberg, then Fenimore. Lee Walker takes the grumpy old men brewing car, a brewing company race car to the front. That 363 out front as we have 17 to go. Walker taking the lead just past halfway and beginning to pull away from the six of Devin Schillingberg. Legends cars are pretty, pretty tire sensitive. If you abuse the tires early, you tend to pay for that late. So drivers that do a good job taking care of their tires tend to run up front a lot. Lee Walker showing some patience early in this race, allowing Devin Schillingberg to push the car a little bit, open up some gaps for him, maybe maybe root his way underneath the car coming out of the turn to make a pass on a lapped car. That made it a little easier for Walker, who runs a nice, smart race here. Looks like Timothy Fenimore's also made his way behind 
the six of Schillingberg. So it looks like Schillingberg's car beginning to fade just a little bit. We'll watch Timothy Finnamore close in on Lee Walker. Can Finnamore catch Lee, or is Lee going to be running up front? Walker doing a nice job at South Boston Speedway. Walker down the back straightaway into turn number three. Lee Walker running a nice smooth race in that car, number 363. A little checkerboard pattern on the fenders there, hopping right out, and some gorgeous gold color up on the top. Lee Walker with a nice paint scheme on that Legends car and running a great race as well. So Lee Walker really doing a nice job today, holding off the five of Fenimore. It's Walker, Fenimore, Schillingberg, Mishu has made his way past Machart now. So it's Walker, Fenimore, Schillingberg, Mishu, Machart, then Thomas Dean and Timothy Wilmus. Those seven cars, the only cars on the lead lap. Jim Dalton and William Boxell are in eighth and ninth, one lap down. Brantley Wise in tenth, four laps down. And Kevin Boylan in eleventh five laps off the pace. It looks as though Aaron Donnelly never did join the field, so Donnelly will get credited with a 12th place finish today. Out front, Lee Walker continues to hold off Timothy Fenimore. It looks like Walker now beginning to pull away from the five of Timothy Fenimore. We can see that gap really beginning to lengthen between Walker and Fenimore. Let's see if we can't get a little different perspective on how these cars are running. Here's Walker out front. Fenimore in second. There really is a good gap between Walker and Fenimore. Lee Walker currently holding off the five of Fenimore, extending that lead with Devin Schillingberg in third. Fenimore pulling away from Schillingberg as well. Caleb Mishu currently being shown in the fourth spot, and then Creed Toll McHart being shown fifth. Those five drivers doing a nice job here with Thomas Dean in sixth, Timothy Wilmus seventh, seven cars on the lead lap. Wilmus the last one of those seven as Lee Walker extends the lead ever so slightly over the five of Timothy Fenimore. Walker now with just over a one-second lead. Seven laps to go. Lee Walker taking good care of his equipment, running a nice smooth race as he comes out of turn number two down the back straightaway. It's going to be Lee Walker leading the field. Seven to go. There will be six to go this time by. Lee Walker holds the lead over the five of Timothy Fenimore. Walker rolls out of turn number two down the back straightaway. Lee Walker through three and four now. Laps here at South Boston currently about 17 seconds. So a 17-second lap, a quick lap. You can run 40 laps in a hurry at South Boston. There are five laps to go. Lee Walker holds the lead. Fenimore second. Walker extending that lead now to about 1.2 seconds. Devin Schillingberg about two and a half seconds back. Then it's Mishu, Machart, Dean, and Wilmus all on the lead lap, followed by Dalton, Boxell, and Wise. Four to go. Lee Walker leads. A nice smooth line as Walker goes down the back straightaway into turn number three. Walker will roll through the center of three and four. Now out of turn number four onto the front straightaway. Lee Walker doing a nice job here. There are three laps left. Lee Walker leads at South Boston. Fenimore in second. Schillingberg third. Mishu fourth. Machart fifth. And Dean sixth with Wilma seventh. Lee Walker is going to take the car out of turn number four onto the front straightaway. There'll be two to go this time by Lee Walker doing a really nice job at South Boston and extending that lead. Walker now pulling away from Fenimore. He's one and a half seconds ahead. A lap and a half now, about a lap left. Lee Walker's going to take the white flag this time by. This race is Lee Walker's to lose. Walker takes the white flag. He goes into turn number one, allows the car to roll through one and two. A nice smooth turn now out onto the back straightaway. Lee Walker right up against the wall. He rolls down into turn number three through the apex of three and four. Now out of four onto the front straightaway. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Lee Walker with the win right here at South Boston Speedway. Lee Walker of the Johnson I Racing team going to take home the the win. Timothy Fenimore will finish up second. Devin Schillingberg third. Caleb Mishu will come home fourth with Creed Toll Machart fifth. Thomas Dean sixth. Timothy Wilmus in seventh. Jim Dalton eighth. William Boxell ninth. Brantley Wise tenth. And Kevin Boylan eleventh. Aaron Donnelly will be credited with a 12th place finish even though he never did make the starting grid. A nice run here. Lee Walker showing some patience, taking good care of his equipment, making a pass at about the halfway point, and then leading for the rest of the way. For the Johnson Eye Racing team on the Johnson Eye Racing Network, this is Aaron Johnson saying, go fast, turn left, have fun.